So I've been getting kind of tired every time I post a photo of somebody carrying appendix. Uh, the comment is invariably, you're going to blow your dick off. So what I've done, I've got a Glock UTM gun. I have a Dark Star Gear appendix holster, a very good holster that I've cut the front off of. I'm sorry, Dark Star Gear. It's for science. What we're going to do is uh, recreate an ND carrying appendix and see what actually happens. Now I've got the holster on the outside of my pants so we can see. Um, and essentially, if I impact myself with a round, you'll be able to tell. If I don't, it'll end up on the ground somewhere in front of me. Uh, but my, my contention is that when you're using good gear and you're using good technique, the likelihood that you shoot yourself um, in this position drops almost to impossible. Um, whether or not the gun goes off, my contention is the round will not impact you. So we're going to find out. We're gonna we're gonna operate under the assumption that guns do not randomly go off in the holster. I can't I can't recreate a mechanical failure, so we have no way to test that. Um, what we're concerned with is on the draw and on the reholster. Let's talk about the reholster real quick. So, when you are carrying appendix and you are reholstering, very simple techniques to make sure that you don't cook around into yourself if the gun goes off. Uh, number one, drop your strong side leg back. Number two, lean all the way back as much mobility as you have. Look the gun into the holster very slowly. Voila. Uh, on the draw, for the most part, by the time we can get onto the trigger, the gun has already cleared the holster and is out here somewhere. Um, I think it would require quite a bit of effort to get your finger on the trigger when the gun is still here, and I've not I've not seen that. I'm not saying it can't happen, but we'll try that too and see see where we're at. I just want to show you guys we're using a UTM gun and ammunition. Uh, still, do not try this at home. You can injure yourself. Uh, pretty severely do not ever try this with a live gun and honestly it's giving me bad feelings even trying this with a UTM gun but I want to show you guys what I'm talking about and I think this is probably the uh, easiest way to do it so UTM UTM gun let's see what happens so uh, we're just going to drop our strong side leg back lean backwards right about here I'm going to simulate and this is as far as I can get the gun into the holster and still get my finger on the trigger, so let's see what happens. We have no impact on the holster. We do have an impact right down here. So, let's try that again. So the second attempt, um, just dropping our strong side leg back, leaning back, simulating something's on the trigger, and we have an ND. We have no impact on the holster, no impact on me. We do have one on the ground here, and I know you guys can't see it because of the shadow, but we'll do that again. So this time I'm gonna use not as good a technique. I'm not gonna drop my strong side leg back as much. Uh, I'm not gonna lean back as aggressively, and let's see what happens. No impact on me, no impact on the holster. We do have one on the ground. So this time, I'm not going to put my, my strong side leg back at all. I'm just going to lever the gun into my body. I'm not really going to lean back even. Let's see what happens. No impact on the holster, no impact on me. Uh, we've got one down here. So, all right, so this time we're gonna try it on the draw. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have an upright stance. I'm going to get the gun just out of the holster enough to where I can get on the trigger, which is right about here. And let's see what happens. No impact on me. No impact on the holster. There is one down in between my legs.